Hey everybody, Howard Pinsky here with my first tutorial of the new year. If you're like me and didn't go out to enjoy the fireworks last night, you may be looking for a way to create your own. And what better way to create them in Photoshop? We're going to be using custom brushes and layer styles to create this fireworks text effect. Let's get to it. As I didn't end up going out last night, I grabbed this image from Shutterstock.com. But if you're not as antisocial as I am and you did go out last night, feel free to use an image of your own for this tutorial. We first want to set up our text, which is going to end up as the path that our brush will use. For a design like this, a very thin, hand-drawn font will work nicely. I found this second lyrics font over at dafont.com. And as this image is fairly large, I'm going to be using a font size of around 175 points. You may have to resort to a larger or smaller font depending on the size of your image. I'm also going to be increasing the tracking for this font just a touch. If I open up my character panel, which I can activate under the window menu, I can increase the spacing between the characters by increasing the tracking value. 100 should do the trick. Now that our text is typed out, we need to create a work path from this type layer. This will allow us to paint along a path once our brushes are set up. In your layers panel, right click on the type layer and choose the create work path option towards the top you should see the path become visible around the type. If you don't, you can use a shortcut key to reveal it. Command Shift H on the Mac or Control Shift H on Windows. That will hide or show that path. You can actually go ahead and hide the type layer itself as we're not going to be using it for this design. Now let's go ahead and start customizing some brushes. Start off by creating a new layer in your layers panel and then grab your brush tool from the tools bar. Both brushes that we're going to be starting with can be found in the default brushes that come with Photoshop. Opening up your brush picker, the first brush that we're going to start with will be the Dune Grass brush. Make sure to select the one that contains a single blade and not three. Now we can start customizing it, which can be done in the brush panel found again under the window menu. Starting in the brush tip shape section, go ahead and decrease the size of the brush until it's about the same thickness as the text. Your value may be different than mine, but around 40 pixels will work for this example. Now in Shape Dynamics, you're going to want to max out the size, the angle, and the roundness jitters. This will give us some nice variation to the brush as it's being applied. Finally, set the control at the top to Pen Pressure. Now even if you're not using a tablet, this will allow the brush to fade out at the beginning and the end of the stroke. Next in the Scattering section, we're going to start with a scatter set to around 100% and the count set to 4. But once we apply the first stroke, we're going to be increasing the scatter to add some extra sparks around the text. And finally, to finish off our customization, go ahead and turn off Color Dynamics on the left. Now we can apply the first brush stroke to our path. For the first stroke, you're going to want to grab your pen tool from the tools bar and then right click on the visible path and then choose the Stroke Path option. When this window appears, make sure to select Brush from the drop-down and turn Simulate Pressure on. This will use the pen pressure control that we set a moment ago. When you press OK, the first brush stroke will be made. Now once the first stroke has been made, you don't need to follow these steps all over again. All you have to do now is jump back into your brush tool, shortcut key B, and then press the Return or Enter key on your keyboard. That will repeat the Stroke Path command with the settings that you just set. Now to add a few more sparks to the text, I'm going to increase the scatter value to around 300% and one more time, press return or enter on the keyboard. Perfect. To finish off this layer, let's go ahead and add a simple outer glow layer style. For this layer, I'm going to set the blend mode to linear dodge with a 50% opacity and a light red color, FF6D6D. Of course, you can use whichever color you like for your fireworks. Now down below, I'm going to crank up the size to 250 pixels and decrease the range to around 30%. This glow will act as the glow that goes behind the fireworks. Our next layer will be much stronger. So now that this layer is complete, go ahead and create another new layer and open up your brush picker once again. This time you're looking for the 70 pixel star brush, which conveniently is right beside our grass brush. Now in terms of customization, in the brush tip shape section, increase the spacing of this brush to around 50% so they're not all clumped up together. Now in shape dynamics, the settings that we last used should automatically appear once you activate it. But if they didn't, max out the jitter values and make sure that the control is set to pen pressure. Finally, turn on scattering, but leave the settings as they are for the moment, 100% for the scatter and 4 for the count. 
And just like before, we need to stroke the path. Because we've already set the stroke options, we can simply press return or enter to apply the brush. I'm going to apply it about three or four times and then increase the scattering a touch to add some additional sparkles around the text. At this point, you may not be able to see much of the new brush that we just applied. Let's go ahead and add an outer glow to this layer to make it more visible. The blend mode for this layer is also going to be linear dodge, but the opacity is going to be kept at 75% and the color is going to be slightly more orange than the last one. FF 6C 00. The glow on this layer is going to be much tighter than the last one, so the size is only going to be increased to around 20 pixels. And that should leave you with a glowing, sparkling fireworks text effect. I hope you all had a fantastic New Year's, and as always, make sure to like this video, comment on it, and check out my other tutorials at iceflowstudios.com. Take care.